Well, welcome to episode three of exciting, sensational, texty spreadsheets. Um, in this one, I'm just going to show you how you can do create very simple um, pie charts or bar graphs um, when you've collected data, in this case, about um, children's favorite fruits. So, typical thing, we've, we've got a spreadsheet with three columns. And in the first column, you notice that I can actually add a picture, and the second column, the name. Um, and that's quite simple. You simply insert uh, the cursor into uh, the text cell, and you can then um, scroll along and go and find a picture that you want to put in there of the fruit that you like. Um, so let's go and put some blueberries in that one there. Um, and that was quite simple there. Close Mona Lisa. Um, and come down here and of course resize that if you like. So all your usual textiles objects behave in exactly the same way in spreadsheet as they do in anything else and we'll type blueberry in here. Blueberries there, okay, all very neat and nice. Um, I'm also going to just show you a few things where, again to tidy up the presentation. I'm going to highlight um, these two um, columns here um, go to the effects button and I'm going to justify it so the contents of that column are justified um, vertically in the center there uh, and also horizontally there so all looking looking better aren't they already there and if I want to I can highlight that and I go to cell effects and we can have a, a fill color here so let's do um, some more colors and go and choose some nice light blue there and that's okay um, and close that uh, and there we are and what might be even better, of course, is to highlight the spreadsheet and go and take away these um, column and row headings here. So let's toggle that button and we've got it there. All looking better, isn't it? I can still move my spreadsheet around, of course, um, if I wanted to. Certainly move my text there. Okay. Um, right, in the tally chart here, we've had to do, we could format that, but let's leave that for the time being. So how can we go and convert all this data into useful inf information charts? Easy. Make sure you just highlight the columns that you want to present in your bar chart or your pie chart. Um, so let's go and highlight um, these two here and go all the way down. Um, and there we go. Um, and then we'll notice that the chart tools appear uh, in our tool set. And we go there. And it assumes you want to have a bar chart straight away, though we could change that to pie chart if you wanted to. But it kind of doesn't make sense for this sort of data. So let's stick with the bar chart there and close that. And the chart appears there. You can, of course, click on it and you can move it. You can resize it um, and put it somewhere nice or copy it to another um, Textease page. Just like any other Textease object, you can, form, you can uh, format the text here. Um, so let's go and do that. Um, let's go back here. So we'll say favorite fruits. Um, and you can do all your formatting that you like, change the color the, on the font style, and you can change that as well. You can easily see that. Indeed, you can go and change all these as well. There we go. Now, you notice that I've forgotten, of course, to put any data in for Boobery, so let's go and pop that in there, and we discover that actually um, nine children, nine children love blueberries, so let's do it in there, and notice what happens. The chart responds instantly. That's cool, isn't it? You don't have to recreate the chart at all. So there you are. Easy way of creating um, very useful charts in Textees, which um, automatically refresh themselves when you change the data there. So have a go for that yourselves.